hi and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station today um, we're gonna do a few things with this dry base dry colouring gel glue base gel by She Modern basically essentially what this is is it's a foil glue um, that you cure but it's not as tacky as a foil glue but it acts in a very similar way where pigments and glitters are concerned so basically that's that's what it does and um, you can burnish glitter in with it you can add pigments with it you can do all sorts with it um, I have filmed a video um, but it's not out yet because I'm waiting for the other girl to finish it's part of a collab but I used it with neon pigments and stencil so We'll show, I'll show you I did that today and it's something like that so the neons actually look super bright on here so we'll do that on this nail here we'll burnish some glitters in um, we'll use the stencil like you know I'll show you how to do a cool design on there um, and we'll, we'll try pigments with it we'll try burnishing glitters with it and we'll try the ombre pigments with it on this one because I had a little practice with it just to see um, if it came out better but it did and I want to show you how it worked um, but one thing I want to mention about using the ombre pigments and stuff like that is I recommend one of these um, I find using the cosmetic sponges I don't know if it's the same for everybody else um, for one, I have to get my lint roller on the sponge first, like this, because the sponges pick up every bit of dust that there is of, that there is going. So you have to do that first, and you're not always guaranteed to get all the bits of fluff off the sponge. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but look, there's loads of stuff on there now. But before I was using these, I was having to do that, and then I was finding that I was still getting a nail that looked a little bit bitty and bobbly. Um, but if I use the ombre pigments with a proper sponge, then it works properly. So that's just what I've found, anyway. So we'll start off just by showing you how we apply it. So this just applies like a regular gel. It doesn't have a strong smell I mean there is a smell there but it's not strong it's fine so basically we just paint it on like that make sure you get a nice amount on as well So we've got that on there. So I'll show you one, one more, and then I'll do the others, and I'll come back. So basically. So I'm just going to do the rest of that off camera. But it's just a clear gel. That's all it is. It's like a base coat. But when it's cured, it's sticky. It's sticky enough to adhere this stencil to it, and it's completely sm smooth and flat. So it's really, really nice. So I'm just going to add it to all the nails and come back. Okay, so we're back. So the gel base glue is, it costs $17.99 plus shipping, but there is a 55% off sale going on until the day after Valentine's Day. So it ends midnight Valentine's Day basically. So if you bought it now at 55% off, you could even buy the grip base gel, which is for decals. So it's a grip base gel base and top coat. So it can be used to top the decals off as well. So you can use the glue base gel for your pigments and glitters. And then you can use the grip base gel for your decals and to top it off. So essentially you wouldn't need another top and base coat. You would use this and the grip base gel so the grip base gel would be your base coat then you would apply um, your gel polish or whatever 
and then you would apply this apply any glitter or pigments and then you would top it off with the grip base gel add your decal and then top it off with the grip base gel as well so you wouldn't need another another top and base coat so you could get both of them for the price of one and with it being 55% off it would give you some money towards the shipping cost as well um, so yeah so it's worth grabbing it now while it's 55% off so I'll try and work out the price and put it at the bottom of the screen for you <laughs> um, yeah. so I'll try and do that for you and then you'll see that it's a lot cheaper so if you want to try it I suggest you try this now while it's the 55% off sale okay so we're going to try and burnish in some glitters because I'm excited to show you this um, we'll try it on this nail so I'm just going to move away some of these nails because I don't want them to get glitter on them that's a good thing about working on the flexi hand and with the other hands you couldn't do that so at least you can remove the fingers if you if you want to so basically we're just going to add some of the she modern red hollow because it's valentine's day coming up so i thought red would be a nice color to show you and i'm just going to catch the excess underneath with a she modern canvas like so so just sprinkle it all over. I love these containers because there's no waste and you can just sprinkle it all on like that and then we're just going to rub this in and look and honestly rubbing this in it's so smooth right the glitter just feels like it's not even there you know what I mean it's so 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 smooth so if you like a fine glitter glitter honestly you need to get this grit base gel and the she modern glitters these are lovely and it will keep sticking to the parts where there is no glitter and that's that nail done and honestly that my nails don't feel sticky my fingers so i don't feel i don't feel tacky <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i've got a bit of a sore throat and a cough but look at that look at that Is my light on yeah look at that look how beautiful that is whoa let's look at that That is, honestly, I'm blown away. She Modern has definitely created something here that I'm going to be using for a very, 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 very long time. So, yeah, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it now we're going to try it with some pigment so we'll try it with some red pigment on this finger i've chose red just simply like i say because it's valentine's day coming up so people will be using a lot of red and i've chose the red pearl shimmer i have ordered the i haven't got the red neon yet that's one of the colors i don't have so i'm just going to roll the pigment like this so that it gives me a nice fluffy Okay, so just going to apply some of this. It's nice to use a base that's of a similar colour, which is hence why I've done it like this. So I'm just going to rub it in with one of these. Because red is quite pigmented, unless you wear gloves, don't try and rub this in. And I would put some cuticle guard on. This is a flexi hand, so the products will just wash off. If it was your skin, it may um, it may take a little bit of washing off, but they're water based, so it shouldn't take that much. So I'm just gonna get my glove. Oh, 
I just wear like these sort of gloves here and then you can just rub it you can just rub it in a bit then and this red honestly it's beautiful it, it really comes together when you put your top coats on which we'll do that at the end okay I'm just gonna just gonna get rid of the excess that's the nice thing about these canvases you can just brush the excess away so you can buy those canvases you can buy five I think it's five canvases and five stencils and you get a decal water decal with it and I think they're $14.99 but again 55% off people so so worth getting because honestly I'm going to be showing you some cool designs with the stencil over the coming weeks using this grip based gel using this glue based gel and she modern products and honestly if you didn't like she modern before you will like it soon because I've got some quite cool modern ideas um, that I can really do now I can really I've honestly <laughs> I'm excited about these products and I'm excited to use the stencils and the glue based gel and the glitters and yeah so I've got some cool ideas coming up so that's two nails down now the next one is one that um, I wanted to show you so I'm just going to move these ones off put this one on here this is why I like the flexi hand because I can just I'm not sort of in between lots of fingers and stuff like that so I'm just going to pop my lids back on We're going to use the stencil here. So I've got a stencil that's out. And this is a cool design that I wanted to share with you. Let me just make sure I push the finger in enough so it looks nice. This is something that I see on Instagram quite a bit. You know, these sort of. Um, nail designs where is my I'm looking for so it sticks it right down and you can get right into the corners I don't know if you've ever used a Sheen Modern stencil before or she used to give them free with decals um, but when you used it with foil glue they used to be really 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 tacky um, but now they, it's just not so we're going to use some of the silver hollow and we're just going to pop it at the top here And that's all burnished in and then what we're going to do is we're just going to brush off the excess now okay I probably didn't go high enough up with the tacky glow so that was probably my fault and then we're going to peel away but with the powers of the flex finger we can just pretend we did go high up and we can push it up a little bit <laughs> and there we go and I'm just going to wipe the top of my flexi hand look at that isn't that cool that is a cool idea I love it I love it I love it I love it let me show you just looks just looks nice don't it you can do any design with the stencil it doesn't have to be that um, I had a practice with some regular polish just to see how it held down um, and that's the design I did with the stencil and that's topped it's topped there with gel polish because it's hollow because I realised that I didn't have a water based top coat that was good for glitters I've only got the base coat water based base coat left which is no good 
so yeah and I've got a little bit of glitter on there but <laughs> you get the idea you can do some cool things with the stencil um how I did that sorry camera time ran out there so how I did this was I stuck the stencil on there like that basically and then we added the glitter and we peeled it away <coughs> but well that's for another video so we've got that one and now we're going to use some of the neon powders So we'll use the neon powders with the stencil as well, just for a little bit of fun. And this is not sticky at all, and it's been on the nail. It's not, it's not sticky. If it does feel a little sticky, you just get some water and just wipe it off. And it, it comes off with the water. You don't need to put alcohol on these at all. So we're gonna we'll just do a triangle like I did on that nail. So basically we're just going to flatten this down, try not to tamper with the tacky layer too much. So you'll need a silicone tool just to really press it down into the corners and down to the sides. Right, so I'm just gonna clean <clears throat> just gonna, I'm just gonna clean all this up and then I'll come back. Okay, right, so we're back. So that's what we've done so far, and I'm just gonna show you very quickly a quick ombre on with the ombre gel on that finger using this. That's the number, and this is a born pretty store. It's got a miniature stamper, but I mainly brought it for this. And we're using the She Modern. Um, white ombre powder there's several colors seven colors and they come in packets like this I've got all the colors now so we'll be doing a full demo on it I've just mixed it with a bit of no wipe top coat onto one of the she modern canvases and I'm just on one of the sides of the sponge I'm just gonna dip it in like that on the side because we're gonna need the other side to do the ombre effect you're going to need a fair bit of this pipe paint so make sure you give it a good dip and then again get the side that hasn't got any And just do that I've gone up quite a bit because it's a small nail but you get the idea so I'm just going to cure that and then I'm going to top coat everything and then I'll show you the finished results okay right so yep so this is it really these are the finished nails so that's the ombre one so I do really think in my honest opinion that this um, 
powder makes the ombre pigments work better. Like they do look more like of an ombre effect. I do think it makes the neons look better. I think the glitters feel nice and smooth with one thin top coat. And look at the shine on that red. And that looks pretty. And that red there is gorgeous. Just look at it. That red pearl shimmer. So yeah. I'm really, 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 really pleased with uh, all the designs that have come out. So that's it. So I'll stick some pictures up of these as well um, because sometimes the camera don't really pick it up well and I can take like a better photo. Um, in sunlight as well. So yeah. So which one was your favourite? Me personally, I love that one and I love that one. But I love them all. I, I would wear them all if I'm honest. Um, it also works with chunky glitters. So I'll be showing you that soon as well. I've got it filmed. So I've used it with these Lola Rose glitters. And it works absolutely fine with those. This was just a little test that I did last night um, when I was preparing all these. It works with chrome powders, mirror powders, that sort of thing. If you're a slow stamper, you can use it for that. Like I left, I literally stamped this. I stamped that and I left it on the side. I went and spoke to Joss, nailed it. I made a coffee. I was gone for about 30 minutes, so I gave it a good, you know, a good test, a good try. And it's still stamped. There was a little bit missing there, but that was me. That was me. That was when it was picked up and not. So if you're a slow stamper, use this it's great um it works it worked a bit on the hollow powders i won't lie it's a little bit patchy but it did work um so yeah so that's it really um it doesn't work on foils i tried it you know the strips of foil but i got a patchy effect which was nice and then i stamped over it so yeah so it was just something I was just I was just putting it to the test last night because I really wanted to give you an idea of how this product works um, and give you some swatches to show you as well. But yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Tina, she modern. I'm impressed. This gets honestly. If I could give it five thumbs up, I would. If I could give it ten thumbs up, I would. It's that good. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'll, honestly, I got sent this to review, but I'm buying one. I'm buying another in the sale. I've got to. Um, so, yeah, I love it. I love it. I can't wait for the grip gel to come um, for the decals because I know that this does work with decals, but there is a specific one for decals. So I want to wait and show you, show you that first before I show you that you can use this one for decals as well because the other one might work better than this one but yeah let me tell you how smooth and shiny that is so yeah I'm just going on now um, so yeah big thumbs up so if you like this video don't forget to like it subscribe give it a thumbs up check out she modern's channel and um, I've got a new um, Instagram for pumpkins nail station so follow me because i'll be posting a giveaway i am um, on saturday and there may be chances to earn extra entries that i'll post on my channel and um, instagram so follow me on there and um, because i'll be if you do reposts and stuff like that then you'll get an extra an extra entry so that's only available on instagram so it's worth following me I'll put the link to that in the description box below. Um, I'll put the links to all this in the description box below and I'll put the code for the 55% off below. So you just copy that and paste it in onto the coupon part. But I'll put a big picture up with it all on, with all the details on just now. Um, so yeah, it's 55% off everything in the store. So it's, if you want to try anything, now's the time. Okay, so that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye.